Hi everyone, my name is Fru Yagini, Chairperson of Camp Aftermath. Are you a female veteran, first responder, or frontline worker living with any type of mental anguish? Are you sick and tired of jumping from program to program to try to find that sense of purpose, or simply looking for the next step in your recovery? I would suggest that you check us out at campaftermath.org as we are now taking applicants for our Roto 3, launching in the fall of 2021. This program is one year long and three phases. It has been created with mental health expert oversight throughout all three phases, including screening and suitability, phase one, phase two with the volunteerism and the therapeutical activities, which will be held this year at Camp Garibona in Quebec. And the most important phase, phase three, the one year follow up. Now, following this video is a short clip of what it's like to be a participant in Camp Aftermath. Enjoy. Of course, I'm a military vet myself, having served uh, uh, with the Calgary Highlanders, the PPCLI, and uh, most importantly in my career, that of a medic. Um, as that, I, I participated, you know, in, in the early days of Croatia and the Balkans, to darts in Pakistan, to, of course, Afghanistan. Um, I love my role as a medic. Uh, I love giving. Um, the original intent of why I became a, uh, joined the military was to help people. Um, I got lost in it. Um, the most important role I carry now is that of a father and of a husband. Um, my wife and my two daughters uh, are my inspiration, um, are the reason I get up in the morning when I can't get up for myself. And then even in coming in here, I'm learning to be more myself so that I can be more in the present with my wife and my daughters. interested in the component of getting out of yourself. Um, I was getting caught up in my specialness of being military. I was getting caught up in the disgruntled vet. Camp Aftermath seemed like it was giving vets an option to remove that cloak of, of having to be something and just coming back to being yourself, being human, by focusing on, on others, uh, on their needs, I'm bringing my compassion and empathy to them. Um, and then the hope was, was by doing that, um, I could finally shed um, past identities, past masks, and, and then return to self. Not having our, my safety blankets, um, for sure, I was wondering, was I gonna have panic attacks? Was I gonna be able to manage my pain? Um, because these things became, as I'm understanding now and seeing now, uh, crutches. I've been here now two days on ground, four days with Camp Aftermath. Um, I'm not using cannabis. I'm using uh, minor uh, pharmaceuticals that were already prescribed. Uh, and I'm doing well. So the hope is and the intent is is then to continue that when I get home. You know, cannabis has helped for people. It's helped me in need and now I feel that my time may be done with it. So now it's just one day at a time and kind of managing my anxiety, my symptoms more holistically and breathing and uh, so far, so good. I was most excited about uh, participating with Gail and uh, the Costa Rican um, Humanitarian Foundation. Um, as I said, having been a medic, it wasn't a trade, it wasn't a, a patch on the back. I feel that that's who I am. I'm a, I'm a person of medicine. Um, so to be able to be there, actually, you know, <laughs> Being there yesterday, I felt at home, <laughs> right? I mean, I wasn't doing clinical medicine. It's just being in the present, just being a positive male presence, not aggressive, kind, smiling. It was an amazing experience. So, um, yeah, that's what I was most excited about, and, and that's what still excites me, it's to be able to interact 
one-on-one -on -one with people, whoever they are. Here it happens to be Nicaraguan refugees and it just felt right. And, and so I, I'm really happy I had that opportunity because Because it wasn't about me. It was about them. <laughs> Medicine is love, right? And, and so that place for me, coming from a place of medicine, it allowed me to, to, to lead with my heart. And um, yeah. Having done group and having been to multitude of institutions of various natures, uh, this here was amazing as I found it was important, let me say that, we value strength in the military, we value stoicism in the military. Uh, I found in past groups when we get together, we, we keep doing that, we, we wear masks. Here, we've shed that and our vulnerability is up front. We, we, we honor that, we say this is important and, and your vulnerability is your strength. And so now when we get together as a group with these men, big, strong, you know, but it's not that, it's like, oh my God, you know, you have a heart, you have a compassion, and we're tearing, and, and we're bonding, and, and I'm allowed to be myself, I don't have to wear a mask, I don't have to be this tough, baloney, whatever. I get to be Syriac Davies, raw, authentic, loving, and, and it feels free, freeing.